Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I have a first impression featuring the new Hourglass Veil Skin Tint. So if you're new here, excuse my voice, it doesn't always sound like this, okay? I'm going through it, I feel fine, my throat is just unwell. So we're, we're pushing through because I've been wanting to try this product forever. I've had it on my desk for what feels like two weeks now, probably. But I've been really into just kind of skin tints. I've been playing around a lot with the Summer Friday one and I like it. But I've heard amazing things about the Hourglass one. And I really like Hourglass makeup. So I figured let's give it a go. Let's do a first impression and wear test with it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on first. And then I'm going to show you how it wears throughout the day. Because I don't know about you guys, but I love the no makeup makeup, barely there makeup trends. But I feel like after like three hours, I look in the mirror and I'm like, girl. You look horrible. It just breaks off weird. It just, I don't know. That's why I tend to always set my products. But if you can get a base that's pretty sheer and just kind of like looks like your skin, I'm hopeful that hopefully with the right techniques, I can get it to wear a little bit longer. So let's jump in. I got number seven. I have not tried this yet, swatched it or anything. So we're running to the mall if it doesn't work. Um, I will pop up a couple of things on the screen of what it claims to do, but it is a hydrating skin tint. So I'm hoping hydration. Um, but again, I got the color seven. You get how much? 1.1 fluid ounces for, I don't remember the price exactly, but I got a 20% off. I don't know if this is the age is that. Um, I got it 20% off because I did the family and friends sale, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive on in. So I think with long, with natural makeup and making it last a long time, you really need to focus on skin prep. So I have all my skincare on, big thick moisturizer, and then I went in with the Ulta MD tinted SPF. So it has a decent little like glow to it. I love it. Um, but then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my primer, the Benefit Professional, and I'm just going to put it on places where I tend to wear down. If you see me looking this way, I have a mirror over here. So really just like on my pores. Mostly where I don't put another, like a bunch of other products on, if that makes sense. Like around this area and my cheeks, like I have blush, so it's set with powder. I'm going to use all of my same no normal makeup. Kind of see how it goes. So my skin's looking pretty decent right now. I have obviously this melasma or the sunspot that I've had for a while now and then I've got some freckles going on and some melasma up here and then I do have some hyperpigmentation from a pimple that I popped <laughs> down on my chin but besides that we're looking great <laughs> just kidding but if you've ever suffered from acne you know that this at least the feeling of having clear skin is like amazing so let's go ahead and dive in I'm really praying this is the right color because I don't feel like running to Sephora right now okay and comes in like a little squeezy tube yeah, it looks good to me. All right, let's start with that much and see. I have no idea. I'm going to apply it with my fingers. So it feels very light. I think the color is good. Oh, yeah, the color is great. I'm going to do one half of my face and then show you what it looks like compared to the other. It feels really smooth. It feels just like a moisturizer. It doesn't really have a scent to it. I think you can build it for some more coverage because I feel like my acne pimple is a little bit lessened. There it is up close. The color is perfection. Am I going to say I notice a huge difference? No. <laughs> but I think that's the point of a skin tint. It's not like a big difference in terms of your skin. This is how much I have left from that first little squeeze that I had. So let's see this side since this side is my more like freckly sunspot area. I'm gonna use a little bit more product. I think first impression, it looks just 
like my skin. Um, I don't feel like it's providing a lot of coverage at all, but the glow and the finish of it is very pretty. Like, it doesn't even look like you're wearing makeup. Because you're really not. <laughs> you're wearing a skin tip. Okay, so first impression, it's beautiful. It looks beautiful on the skin. I'm going to see if I can build just a little bit more up here. Um, <clears throat> if you have oily skin, I don't think you're going to like this because it really doesn't set down and kind of gives you that glowy look, which is almost not like skin and almost like just too glowy, if that makes sense. But I don't think that's the case. I definitely would recommend applying it with your fingers because I feel like the sponge is just going to pick everything up. So this point of a skin tint is truly just to even out the face and then you cover up what extra you have. So overall, yeah, I think it's gorgeous. I think it like evened out my skin tone. I think it doesn't look like I'm wearing any makeup, but it gave me just like a more radiant glow that is more even. So if you suffer from any sort of like slight discoloration, I feel like this will kind of just blend it a little bit more seamlessly. So I enjoy it. I enjoy that. I'm going to go in with my Handy Dandy Kosas Concealer, which I've been using for ever now. A little bit here. I'm going to blend this guy out. I am excited to see the longevity of this foundation or the skin tint because that is something I will notice about the Summer Friday. I love it. I love the way it makes my skin look. But I feel like it kind of comes apart on my skin a little bit. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this one. Okay. So that is it. Obviously you can still see some imperfections on my face. There is like a filter on this camera that I can't for the life of me get it off without like messing with the lighting so bad. I always like to preface this. Um, but I will say that you can see it when I kind of like I'm doing stuff because you'll see my normal skin peek through. Uh, all right, let's go in with some powder. I'm going to set this because if I do not set a skin tint on my skin, it just rolls right off. But I love the, the cloud set powder in by Kosas in Feathery. I feel like it really sets your makeup without looking like you still get that skin like look I feel like more skin like than this because this no one's skin looks like that let's go ahead and just press it in and I'll show you one side versus the other and of course like if you're not um oily and you're super dry and you feel like you don't have a problem with things setting then then don't or you don't have a problem with things smearing after you set them then don't set it but this is what it looks like you still see like a luminant glow but not as glowy as this but anyway I prefer it and if I don't your girl's makeup will be on the floor okay so we've set it with powder and we have concealer on I think it looks beautiful let's go ahead and finish up with the rest of the makeup and then I'll check in with you okay I have most of my other makeup on except for mascara but I did pick this up the other day from elf it's the roll in la lash and roll and I was hoping it would be similar to the I think it's similar to the Benefit, but I was hoping it'd be similar to this guy that I love from Maybelline, the Lash Sensational. Yeah, it's not really. I mean, it's got the curved brush. It's similar. It's really similar. All right. Mostly because this is like done so. I need to get rid of it. I did already order another one, but let's try. Normally I hate first times I try mascara, but let's give it a go. Getting a two for one special today. Okay, I like this so far. So that is what the mascara looks like. I like it, I think it's good. Um, so yeah, I think it was like four bucks. All right, so here is everything. The only thing I haven't done was set it. I'm gonna use a little, what's left of my little bit of Bore Benefit Professional. Um, I did add some freckles. I think it just goes with it but overall I feel like my skin just looks very even very just like glowy but in the right way I think it looks so pretty like are you already you can tell like my oils are already peeking through that powder that powder is perfect for girls that have like normal to dry skin pretty all right I'm gonna check in with you what time is it now 
<clears throat> it's 11 19 I know I'm getting a late start on my day um but I'm gonna check in with you guys throughout the day and let you know what all right you guys I'm still at it with no voice um it is 12 49 oh I figured well now it's 12 50 so almost an hour or almost two hours of wearing it I've had lunch I probably have food in my teeth I have rubbed around my nose, so I feel like it's not on my nose anymore. It hasn't settled into any of my lines. I fixed my eyebrows because I was taking stuff over the top of my head. So far, so good. We will check in in another couple of hours. But two hours in, I feel like it looks really good still. And my blush is still on. Um... My bronzer is still very much on, and yeah, I have little freckles. I put these freckle pens on, so I think we look looks good so far. So we'll see you in a couple more hours to give you a little update again. All right, I wanted to do another check in. It is 3:02 again. My voice just keeps getting worse by the day, so as the day goes on. But let's go ahead and get into some natural sunlight. Yeah, I'm standing in front of the window. You can't really see because the sun's like directly above us, but I feel like it still looks really good and has held up super well. Um, yeah, you can still like, you can very much so see my melasma peeking through. I don't know if you can see it, but I can because it's like a, what I want, I don't even want to call it a pain point, but it's a, it's a noticeable spot for me. I feel like it really hasn't settled in my lines yeah i think so far it still looks really good um if i wanted more coverage here i should have just put more concealer but overall blush is still on which i think is a true sign of like whether your makeup is breaking up it's probably the longest wearing skin tint that i've tried besides like the maybelline one the one that's like a true skin tint i don't feel like that's a real skin tint but so far so good i will check in with you again in another two hours but how this is going, I think All it's right, a you guys. My voice has progressively gotten worse as the day has gone on. I am not feeling great. I'm gonna do my final check-in here because honestly, I'm, I'm checking out for the day. <laughs> I will check back in with you tomorrow. Um, probably because I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow and film the outro, but tell you all my final thoughts, but it is 541. So I've had this makeup on for just shy of seven hours, um, six and a half hours to be exact. Looking in a mirror, honestly, I can say I love the way it wore. Um, I feel like my powder products look great, and yeah, I don't feel like I look overly greasy for for being hydrating. Um, I don't feel like it settled in my dry, my fine lines or anything. I absolutely love it. I think the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint is a win for me. All right, you guys. So I wanted to kind of film a conclusion. Obviously, I wanted to film it last night, but my voice was horrid. You can tell I'm feeling much better today. My voice is still a bit raspy, but not nearly as bad as it was by the end of the night last night. So I want to wrap up my conclusion on the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. I applied it again today using this It Cosmetics brush because I just wanted to see the difference between a brush. And I'm trying to get into using brushes more often. I feel like I relied so heavily on my beauty sponge, even though I applied this yesterday with my fingers. Um, so I really enjoy the way it looks with a brush. I think you're able to kind of build a little bit more coverage where you want it. I apply it to my skin first and then went ahead and buffed it in with this brush. I love this brush. The Heavenly Lux number seven. I used the all, all over for my foundation and then this for concealer, but <clears throat> overall, I'm super happy with this product. It's pricey. It's really freaking expensive, but I really do notice just like it doesn't settle into any of my fine lines, which a lot of foundations will just kind of settle in here, which is normal. I mean, especially as we age, but I think if you deal with like fine lines, um, you would really enjoy this because fine lines a lot of the time have to do with dehydration of the skin. So making sure that you really start with a super hydrated prepped skin and then going in with something hydrating like a skin tint is going to be your best friend instead of like a very dry matte foundation. So if you're kind of been on the fence with a skin tint, don't know if it's going to give you the coverage you want. It definitely isn't full coverage. It never claims to be. This really does only claim to be a light coverage foundation or skin tint. Um, but you can always build with a concealer, which I think is the best way to do your makeup anyways if you're looking for a no makeup makeup sort of 
just natural glow to your skin. So overall, I love this thing. I'm sad because it's pretty pricey um, and you don't get a ton, but you don't really need a ton either because at the end of the day, focus your coverage with your concealer. But overall, love this for just evening the skin tone, giving you a bright, very vibrant, youthful look. So it has my approval. My first impression wear test with the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint was a winner. So if you're curious to check it out, I'll go ahead and link it in the description box down below as well as on the screen with the YouTube shop button. Um, but yeah, I love it and I do think it's going to be one of my everyday um, foundation choices. I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. If there's any other um, specific brands or products that you want to see reviews for me for or if there's any um, thing you want me to add during my reviews, let me know. It's always super helpful as I'm bringing these back onto my channel. I do have in the works the Makeup by Mario concealer and then the Dr. Dennis Gross lip plumper. Those are going to be the next two that I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video real, real soon.